Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Rich. The name of the channel is Rich the Return Rider. For all you folks that's here for the first time, thanks for tuning in. For all of you folks that's return viewers, I appreciate you coming back. For all that subscribe to the channel, guys, appreciate the support. For you folks that haven't yet subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button so we could continue to bring you some of this content. So today, guys, what you were looking at there in the video is a plug tire. And as you can see, guys, also some work going on in the house. It is that time to have my roof replaced. Yeah, guys, time for a new roof. And time for some new shoes for the going. Guys, I'm under 2019 Honda going. Uh, we're going to start out here. We're going to let my neighbor pass first. And we're going to do a little U-turn before we get going. How are you? I'm doing good. How you doing? Doing great, man. Nice bike, man. Thanks, man. Going out for a little ride. I don't blame you. <laughs> Be safe, man. All right. Thank you, man. All right, folks. We're going to continue on our journey. Awesome to have great neighbors, guys. Anyway, we, like I said, we're going to start out here with a little figure eight. Parking lot is a little sandy here, the subdivision. But that's all right. So, yeah, let's continue with this. Today, guys, what we're going to be talking about is tires, man. Like I said, the wife and I are both concerned about uh, the construction being done here in the neighborhood. We are in a high construction area. And... The deal is there, that um, video you're looking at there, guys, of course, again, like I might have mentioned, is about the tires. And what you were looking at there is a, pl it's a plug tire. Now, as you can see, there's tires are getting a little, a little bit worn there. I think we're down to the, to the rear mark. And I did change the front tires on the Honda Going before I changed the rear. Because I was told I had a little bit more life in the rear tire. Now I know folks are going to say, yeah, you should change both set of tires at the same time. But one of the concerns that I have, guys, like I said, I'm in a high construction area. And picking up nails and screws is not uncommon. I was watching Robert White's Photography, is the name of his channel. And he was at Cruise Man Garage plugging a tire. And I hear Cruise Man said, that he have rarely had to do that well folks it's not uncommon in this area the wife and i have opted to buy tires for both our vehicles from uh, discount tires and buy the road hazard protection just because of the possibility of picking up nails especially in our new tires so what i'm going to talk about today guys now when i bought ruby is I bought Ruby with 4,000 miles on her. I'm sure the tires that was on her when I bought her from right now Power Sports was not a set of tires that they put on, but I'm assuming the original tires with 4,000 miles. When you look at tires, you can tell if they're brand new or if they have a little bit of use, and I'm sure my tires had a little bit of use uh, on them, but they were the Bridgestones. And I have decided to go back when I replace the tires with Bridgestones. Out for some throttle therapy, folks. Yeah, baby. Ruby just loves to get a pin boogie. But anyway, guys, let's get back to the speed limit and the topic at hand. So, yeah, what I want to discuss on this video, man, is... um. The tires that you folks prefer over the tires that I, you know, whatever you prefer for the Honda Goldwing. Now, my option so far is our Bridgestones and Dunlops. And as you're going to see in this little clip here, the two choices that I have to choose from when I'm looking at those two tires. 
and I always say on my video guys most of you Honda going enthusiasts and folks that have been riding for years have forgotten more stuff than I would ever learn about motorcycles and especially the Honda going so reaching out again for advice on which choice of tires <laughs> you prefer now before I get that going I want to give a little plug to a shop that I visit was as I went to Cycle Gear and I got some of the information that I'm going to be talking about from the gentleman at Cycle Gear but when I talk about having the tires mounted the gentleman at Cycle Gear I was going to have the tires mounted there I reached out to my local dealership uh, they charge 60 something dollars to mount the tires mount and balance but for different reasons I have opted not to go with my local dealership as much as I try to support them but uh, I have a little bit of a a quarrel with the local dealership I'm going to do a separate video on that but think I can't go wrong with going at cycle gear now when I went to cycle gear the gentleman did refer me to the shop next door because with him it was going to be a couple of hours before he could mount the tire forgot what he charged but I want to give a shout out to the shop man legacy uh, I think it's legacy motor works I'm gonna post it right here a picture right here of it and it's right next to cycle gear in Jacksonville Florida now when I reach out to right now power sports they charge me $92 and that's not including taxes out the door just to mount the tire now, their preference is that you bring the motorcycle in and they will do everything you know after you buy a tire from them it's a free mountain and that's fine but I had already purchased my tire and I just wanted it to be installed in the rim and I, like I said my local dealership I think was 69 or 60 something dollars so what was recommended by the guy at cycle gear was to go right next door to the shop that guy charged 35 dollars to mount and balance the tires and he was going to do it within 15 minutes <laughs> I went to cycle gear came back and the tire was mounted very happy with that shop as a matter of fact, I've had the Boulevard 240 mounted on the back of the Boulevard for the same price. So I want to give a shout out to that shop. I have also seen him working on one of the new generation Goldwings there. So I'm convinced he's not afraid of working on the Goldwings. They seem to do quite a bit of work there. They got pretty good reviews too when I went to the review section to check them out before I did this video. But yeah, I went back to Cycle Gear and we were talking tires. The guy at Cycle Gear's suggestion was that I go with the Dunlops and I'm gonna show you the Dunlop not necessarily the size there but the Dunlops that they recommended that if I buy those tires from them for $25 I can have the road hazard protection and that would be well worth it guys because they mount and balance the tires for free they match I think if I'm not mistaken they do price matching but the interesting conversation that I had with that guy when we talk about brand of tires, of course, I guess they're promoting their brand. Of course, American made Dunlops. And what he suggested that because I'm picking up these nails and screws that I go with the Dunlop, it's a harder tire. I might lose a little bit of performance as far as grip and so forth. I'm gonna get to that also. But he said he have gotten 25,000 miles out of his Dunlop tires. And of course promoted here, made here in America. So you're looking at this tire here. And I, like I said, I had already purchased the Bridgestone. So I was a little disappointed that I didn't wait and purchase the Dunlop, pay for the road hazard it would probably come out cheaper than actually going to have the tire mounted at most places and since I am so prone to picking up these little foreign objects with maybe a softer tire that the Dunlop might have been a good choice now like I said I assume that this bike came with Bridgestones even though I heard a cruise man and those other folks say a lot of their bikes came with Dunlops and it was interesting they didn't like them they 
cruise man said that his tires seemed to be especially in wet weather seemed to be a little bit more skittish than the Bridgestones I watched a video and I think his, it wasn't a recent video but I watched a video with Memphis Mike talking about not liking the Dunlops I've heard most motorcycle journey highly recommending that you go don't go with the Dunlops so in this video here guys I'm reaching out to you guys to ask you which tire do you prefer of course my concern is going to be safety but it's also a concern of picking up all of these little foreign objects and at this point I haven't bought the tire with the road hazard protection now let me throw throw one more thing in there now when I put the new tire on the new front tire on I also picked up a puncture in that tire and this was before my roof was being was being installed so I definitely can't blame the roofers for the pickup of the two the front tire and the old rear tire I definitely can't blame the roofers for that they have taken all the precautions of going around the house and coming back with a magnet and picking up all of the nails I'm sure there's still something out there but I'm hoping if anything if I pick it up I pick it up in my lawnmower and not on the vehicles and especially not on these $300 plus tires the last Bridgestone that I purchased guys here was $300 and I think $9 or something like that on Amazon out the door I had to wait a couple of days for it and that's the other concern with going with the tires from Cycle Gear now Cycle Gear seemed to stock the Dunlops so when I called them this morning they said any tire that they sell will be covered under the road hazard warranty and it's interesting because it's explained to me that if the tire have a certain amount of debt wear that it's a free replacement but if it's a worn tire it's kind of prorated by the percent of wear on the tires and you know there's always a little catch to some of these um <laughs> these warranty and insurance services but guys at the price of tires these days i'm a little concerned now i might be heading to i might be heading back to the hills of tennessee in june uh, that's not confirmed yet the wife got a couple of trips planned and I will like to replace that front tire that I plugged before I head to Tennessee. Obviously, I'm going to have to go back with the Bridgestone at this point unless I have any problems with the rear tire and decide to, do Dun <laughs> to go Dunlops. But yeah, folks, leave it in the comment section below when it comes to the, to the Honda Goldwing, man. What is your preference to tires? Is the Dunlop a superior tire? And what's the drawbacks? Or is it the Bridgestones? Now, let me add a, a quick thing in here before I start wrapping this video up. Now, I mentioned in my other video there talking about stuff that, you know, you should be traveling with, plugging these tires. And I got to tell you, folks, I think Cruise Man Garage also use it. Travel with a little drill bit in case you got to plug these tires out in an emergency. Now, I practice this stuff like most things <laughs> at home. And when it comes to reaming the tires out, if you're using those rope plugs, it is not easy to ream some of these tires out to do that plug service. So what I'm recommending is that you travel with a little cheap screw gun. I did purchase one from, uh, of course, Amazon. It was a little slow, so I actually ended up going to a store that I don't like to buy electronics from, Harbor Freight. And buying the little cheap one that you're looking at right up there <laughs> on the screen but yeah guys this video is about tire services man or the preference of which tire you prefer for the Honda going anyway folks that's this video here I'm gonna wrap this up I'll cruise in the back roads of Lake City on a nice day here in March I think we're at the end of March 2024 and like I always say in my videos guys I don't care what you ride get in the parking lot practice emergency braking braking and swerving if nothing else 
add some protection to the motorcycle at the end of the day it's better that you drop your bike in a parking lot or on the cone course than to crash them out there on the streets rich out on the 2019 honda going ruby and i am out